Namaste my dear children. Welcome to distance learning sessions through videos. This video is made for class 3 subject maths chapter number 4 multiplication and this is 10th session on this chapter. Today let us discuss application of operations addition, subtraction, multiplication. Dear children, in today's session, we will discuss some problems in which addition, subtraction and multiplication operations are involved. So let us take these examples one by one. Example number 13 in our textbook. There are two sections of class 3 in a school, section A and section B. There are 27 students in section A and 29 students in section B. If 12 notebooks are distributed to each student of class 3 at the beginning of the year, find the total number of notebooks distributed in class 3. Here in this example, uh, there are two sections of class 3 as we also have section A and section B. There are two sections and uh, there are 27 students in section A and 29 students in section B. So in the beginning of the academic year, 12 notebooks were distributed to each student of class 3. So now we have to find the total number of notebooks distributed to class 3 in total. And re, class 3 ke distribute maadir vantaha. What to notebook gala sanki estu vantana viga find maad veku makla. So hek find maad bodhi dana. So what we should know is we should know the total number of uh, notebooks distributed to uh, section A and section B students and then we will add those notebooks together to find the total number of notebooks distributed. Or we may find the total number of students in class 3 that is by adding 27 and 29 we get the total number of students in class 3 and uh, that uh, total strength of class uh, 3 including section A and B if multiplied by 12 gives us the total number of notebooks distributed among all the children in of class 3. Solution We first find the total number of students in class 3. How it can be found? By adding the number of students in class section A and section B. First, let us write down number of students uh, in section A of class 3 is equal to 27. It is given in the question. Number of students in section B of class 3 is 29. It is given in the question. And now, total number of students in class 3 is equal to 27 plus 29, which is equal to 56. So, if you add 27 and 29, you get 56 as a sum. So this can be done or this should be done at a rough workspace in your notebook. In my notebook, in a rough workspace, I'll leave it in a rough work in a mod Addition, multiplication, whatever to be done, should be done in rough work space. 
here let us find the sum of 27 and 29 27 plus 29 oh. 7 plus 9 is 16 so we write 6 in one's place and 110 is carried forward a 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 5 tens therefore 56 is the sum so the total number of students in class 3 is 56 so we have found the total number of students in class 3 now what we should do is we should multiply this 56 uh, by 12 to find the total number of notebooks let's do it now in the next step since each student is given 12 notebooks at the beginning of the year to find the total number of notebooks distributed in class 3 we will multiply 56 by 12 so to find the total number of notebooks distributed we should multiply 56 by 12 let us write down the numbers in place values table like this 56 into 12 now let us multiply and find the total number of notebooks so we multiply 56 by 2 first 2 6 are 12 let's write 2 in one's place here uh, 1 is carried forward and now 2 5s are 10 10 plus 1 is 11 11 tens are regrouped as 100 and 110 now before multiplying 56 by 1 we should put a 0 in one's place of this product now we multiply 56 by 1 1 into 6 is a 6 and 1 into 5 is 5 now let us add these two numbers to find the product of 56 and 12 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 plus 5 is 6. Therefore, we get 672 as product, which represents the total number of notebooks distributed in class 3. So, we conclude, thus a total of 672 notebooks were distributed in class 3. 3. So, in this uh, problem, both addition and multiplication are involved. To find the total number of students in class 3, we have added the number of students in section A and section B, where addition was involved. And to find the total notebooks distributed in class 3, we have multiplied the number of students in class 3 by the number of notebooks distributed to each student so in this question addition and multiplication are involved now let us uh, solve the questions in exercise 4f of your textbook here we have four word problems in which either addition and multiplication are involved or in some problems uh, addition subtraction and multiplication may be involved so let us solve these questions one by one first let us look at question number one Vandana has 15 baskets of marigold flowers. Each basket contains 48 flowers. She used 324 flowers to make garlands. How many flowers are left with her? So, in this problem, uh, Vandana Bale. 15 baskets of uh, marigold flowers ide marigold flowers andre chendu huvu antu en karitu aa huvu makale yellow color flower irutte 
ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಗೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವು ಸೊ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವಿನ ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ಸಾರಿ ಹದಿನೈದು ಬುಟ್ಟಿಗಳಿದೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಶಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಹಾರಗಳು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಡೆಕೋರೇಷನ್ನಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವಿನ ಹಾರಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ದಸರಾ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವುಗಳು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಡೆಕೋರೇಷನ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವುಗಳ ಹಾರಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಳಸ್ತೀವಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಕೋರೇಷನ್ಗೆ ದೇವರ ಪೂಜೆಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮೇನೋ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸು ಆಯುಧ ಪೂಜೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಚೆಂಡು ಹೂವುಗಳ ಹೂವಿನ ಹಾರಗಳನ್ನು ಬಳಸೋದನ್ನು ನೀವು ನೋಡಿರ್ತೀರ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸನ್ನು ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರೋ ಒಂದನವರು ಸೊ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ಯಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದನ ಬಳಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಸೊ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಶಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಬ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ನಾವು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಒಟ್ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದನ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಕೆಟಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟು ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಡಾಟಾವನ್ನು ಅಪ್ರೋಪ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಈ ರೀತಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಇದನ್ನು ನೀವು ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡುವಾಗ ಗಮನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಂಟು ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಒಂದನ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬೈ ಏಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಫೈವ್ಸ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ವಿ
the total number of flowers vandana has is equal to 720 so to find total number of flowers we you know multiplied 15 and 48 so here multiplication is involved to find the number of flowers left with her what we do we will subtract 324 from 720 because 720 is the total number of flowers among these many number of flowers vandana is preparing garlands using 324 flowers so to find how many flowers are left with her we should subtract 324 from 720 let us do it now so here we have the total number of flowers uh, with vandana and also we know that the number of flowers used to make garlands is equal to 342 so number of flowers left with her is equal to 720 minus 342 so if you subtract this you will get the number of flowers left with her so let us write down the numbers in this uh, place values uh, table for subtraction and we will find the required solution so we have to subtract 342 from 720 so here subtracting two ones from zero ones is not possible so we regroup here we make this uh, two tens as one ten we make this 110 and we this now becomes 10 ones on subtracting 2 ones from 10 ones we get 8 ones here and in tens column we cannot subtract 4 tens from 110 so we need to regroup again in the hundreds column we have 7 hundreds let us make it, it 6 hundreds and 100 is borrowed to tens column where it becomes 11 10 i will write 11 here because 100 is equal to 10 tens 10 10 and 110 together becomes 11 tens subtracting 4 tens from 11 tens we get 7 tens as a difference and here we subtract 3 hundreds from 6 hundreds and we get 3 hundreds as a difference therefore 378 is the difference so the total number of flowers left with vandana is equal to 378 i hope you are understanding these are very important and interesting problems so such problems can be solved only if you understand the problem and you should also know how such problems can be solved using addition, subtraction or multiplication. Now let us move to the next question of this exercise. Question number 2. A bus made 5 trips of 25 kilometers each on one day. If it makes another 5 trips of 25 kilometers each on the next day, how much total distance did it cover in two days? In this problem, the distance uh, covered by bus should be found in two particular days. In the first day, the bus makes five trips and, and each trip is of the distance 25 kilometers. And on the second day or the next day, the bus makes seven trips of 25 kilometers each. So now let us find the total distance covered by the bus in two days. Solution. The distance covered by the bus in the first day is equal to 25 into 5 because it is making five trips and each trip 
in each trip the bus covers 25 kilometers so on multiplying 25 by 5 we can find the total distance traveled by the or covered by the bus on the first day let's multiply and find the distance covered by the bus on the first day so now let us multiply 25 by 5 25 into 5 so 5 5 is a 25 2 is carried forward 5 2 is a 10 10 plus 2 is 12 that is 125 so the distance covered by the bus on the first day is equal to 125 kilometers the distance is given in kilometers so we also get the answers in kilometers so this was the distance covered by the bus on the first day now the distance covered by the bus on the next day is equal to 25 into 7 because on the second day the bus makes 7 trips therefore we should multiply 25 by 7 to find the distance covered by the bus on second day so now let us multiply 25 by 7 7 5 is a 35 3 is carried forward 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 3 is a 17 that is 175 therefore the distance covered by the bus on the next day or on the second day uh, is equal to 175 kilometers now to find the total distance covered by the bus in two days what we should do yes we should add 125 kilometers and 175 kilometers on adding these two distance we will we can find the total distance covered by the bus in these two days let us do that now so we write down total distance covered by the bus in two days is equal to 125 kilometers plus 175 kilometers let us add these two numbers so i will write here 125 plus 175 on adding these two what we get 5 plus 5 is 10 we put 0 here 1 is carried forward 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 7 is 10 we put 0 here 1 is carried forward 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 so we get 300 so total distance covered by the bus in two days is equal to 300 kilometers we should conclude by writing the answer with the, the unit that is kilometer you should write 300 and km also km here stands for kilometers now let us move to the next question question number three the cost of a thermos flask is 543 rupees rakesh bought five such flasks he gave 3000 rupees to the shopkeeper how much money did he get back so here in this question uh, a person called uh, rakesh uh, bought five thermos flask and price or cost of each thermos flask is 543 rupees and on buying the five flasks Rakesh gives 3000 rupees to the shopkeeper and we should find how much money did Rakesh get back so for that what we should do first we should find the total cost of five flasks and then we should subtract 
the cost of five flasks from 3000 rupees to get the money that rakesh gets back from the shopkeeper let us do that now solution the cost of one thermos flask is equal to 543 rupees it is given in the question so the cost of five such thermos flasks is equal to 543 into 5 so to find the cost of five thermos flask what we should do we should multiply the price of one thermos flask by 5 on doing so we will get the cost of five such thermos flasks let us multiply now let us write down in the rough work space uh, that is of uh, 543 i'll just write the number i am not writing the rupees symbol here during multiplication while writing the answer i will include the rupees symbol let's multiply now 5 3 is a 15 5 is written here one is carried forward 5 4 is a 20 20 plus 1 is 21 1 is written here 2 is carried forward 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 2 is 27 so we get 2715 so the cost of five such thermos flasks is equal to 2715 rupees this is rupees indian rupees symbol so now what we should do further this is not the final answer this is just the uh, cost of five thermos flasks so to find the amount that rakesh gets back from the shopkeeper we should subtract 2715 rupees from 3000 rupees let us do that now the money that rakesh get back is equal to 3000 rupees minus 2715 rupees let us subtract and find what is the amount that rakesh gets back let us write down 3000 in the first row and 2715 in the second row or second line we will subtract we should put a minus sign here to indicate we are subtracting these numbers yes so subtracting 5 from 0 is not possible we have to regroup let us move to the thousands place here let's make it a 2000s and here it becomes uh, 10 uh, hundreds mm. so now let us make it a 900 and it will become 10 tens let's make it a 9 tens and here it becomes now 10 ones subtracting 5 ones from 10 ones we get 5 ones subtracting 1 10 from 9 10 we get 8 tens subtracting 700s from 900s we get 200s and subtracting 2000s from 2000s we get 0 therefore we get 285 as difference we get 285 as difference and this is the amount or money that rakesh gets back from the shopkeeper so let's write here so we read this as the money that rakesh get back is equal to 285 rupees let us move to next question now question number 4 a tailoring unit stitches 21 shirts and 34 kurtas in a day find the total number of shirts and kurtas the unit will be able to stitch in 25 days so there is a tailoring unit hmm, which we call as garments or garments factory so there is a garment uh, making factory which is, which is here called as tailoring unit so which can uh, stitch 21 shirts maybe there are less number of uh, employees in that uh, unit so they are only Uh, stitching 21 shirts and 20, 34 kurtas in a day andre ondu dinadalli 21 shirts anna stitch martare 
ಮತ್ತು ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಜುಬ್ಬಾಗಳು ಅಂತ ಏನು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆ ರೀತಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಆ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ಟೈಲರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ಗೆ ಒಟ್ಟು ಎಷ್ಟು ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕುರ್ತಾಸನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಮಾಡಲ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಇದನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಮೊದಲೇನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ನಾವು ಸೊ ಒಂದು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಟೈಲರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಾವು ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ತರ್ಟ್ ಇದೇ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕುರ್ತಾಸನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ತಿಂಗ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ದ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ದ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ನಾವು ಒನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಝ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಝ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಝ ಟೆನ್ ಸೊ ನಾ ವಿ ಪುಟ್ ಎ ಝೀರೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಝ ಟೂ ಟೂ ಟು ಝ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ನಾವು ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ದ ಟೈಲರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ದ ಟೈಲರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಸೊ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುರ್ತಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸಾರಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎ ಲೈನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ನಾವು ಫೈವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಝ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಝ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ವಿ ಪುಟ್ ಎ ಝೀರೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಝ ಏಟ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಝ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ add these two numbers 0 plus 0 is 0 7 plus 8 is 15 1 is carried forward 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 6 is 8 850 so the number of kurtas that the tailoring unit could stitch in 25 days is 850 so now to find the total number of shirts and kurtas the tailoring unit could stitch in 25 days we will add these two numbers total number of shirts and kurtas that could be stitched in 25 days is equal to 525 plus 850 So on adding these two numbers, you will get the total number of shirts and kurtas that could be stitched in 
four word problems or application based problems we have in this exercise. So now before concluding this chapter let us go through the summary of this chapter that is important points we learned in this chapter. First point multiplication is repeated addition. So multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. Second, when a number is multiplied by another number, the result is called the product. So when two numbers are multiplied, the answer we get is called as the product. Next point, the product of two numbers remains the same in whichever order they are multiplied. So when two numbers are multiplied so we you may multiply in any of the orders so first number into second number or second number into first number the product remains the same next the product of any number and zero is zero if you multiply any number by zero the product is always zero Next, the product of 1 and any number is the same number. If you multiply any number by 1, you will get the same number. Next point, to multiply a number by 10, 100 or 1000, write 10, one zero, 2 zeros or 3 zeros respectively to the right of the number being multiplied to get the product. So we have done all these by multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000. What we do, we'll just write uh, 1 0 towards right of the given number if we are multiplying by 10. And if you are multiplying a number by 100, just you should put two zeros to the right of the given number. And if you are multiplying any number by 1000, you write the given number and put three zeros to the right of the given number that will be the multiplication of the number by 1000. So we have done several problems on this and we have understood all these things. And I hope uh, you understood all the problems we discussed uh, in today's session and you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye children.